So West Brom 2, Fulham 2. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen such a contrasting performance from a single side over two halves, really. Albion weren't at the races at all first half. Um, it wasn't brilliant. Started with three centre-halves and straight away Fulham really did take the game by the scruff of the, scruff of the neck. Uh, Dara O'Shea um, hooked at 25 minutes um, and then all of a sudden... You know that was a that was a one nil down, and ultimately it could have been two or three really for Fulham. Bobby Deckard over Reed uh, with the first, and then hit the post uh, soon after with near, pretty much a carbon copy um, opportunity. Uh, Alexander Mitrovic was given the run of the Hawthorns. Really, Albion was so passive; there was absolutely no pressure on the ball whatsoever. Uh, the ball movement was 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 pretty poor. I mean, they were they didn't really fashion a chance. They had one shot on goal, which I mean, even then was it was debatable whether that was even a half chance, really. And then second half, it was all change. Albion clearly had had been given a talking to uh, by Big Sam. We saw the new man and by Diania uh, come on at half time, and he made an instant impact. Really, uh, straight away from from the first kick of the ball in that second half. He offered a little bit more energy, more of an outlet up front uh, than Callum Robertson. I think you know it was it was unfortunate really because he was receiving absolutely zero service first half, and Albion looked much much better for it. Carl Bartley, of course, got them level, uh, and then um, it really did look like there was only going to be one side who who were winning the game. Albion were were moving the ball much better. They were pressuring Fulham. Mitrovic didn't really get a sniff second half, neither did uh, many of the other forward thinking. Um, Players and then it was it was Gianni who set up Pereira for for Albion second and you, you thought all of a sudden it could be three points on the board in a, such a massive game for the Baggies but it was two substitutes who combined for Fulham it was it was Harrison Reed and it really was an absolutely sumptuous ball in for Ivan Caballero who just kind of headed home it was it was an easy chance for him to take no real blame can be portioned to Sam Johnson there you, although you could question uh, the defending where Albion's fullbacks were were. I mean, they weren't at the races defensively most of the game. Kieran Gibbs' first half really um, put in a performance, which it, well, it wasn't great, but he did improve second half. And then it was it was, uh, it was Darnell Furlong who, of course, was was supposed to be marking Cavalero for the uh, for the second, and he wasn't there. Conor Gallagher kind of tracks back a little bit, but but ultimately, it's just a point for Albion on the day. Um, a lot of fans. Will be buoyed by that second half showing. Ultimately, though, it could have it could have been Fulham's Fulham's game um, done and dusted if they'd have taken their chances first half. But is a point enough for the baggies? We're not too sure yet. We'll have to see. Sheffield United did lose today uh, to Manchester City, but they've got uh, that massive game in midweek. Uh, Big Sam will not want to see a repeat of the first half today. But if Albion go and put in the performance they did in the second half against Fulham. Uh, you never know, they might get a result and things will be looking a little bit rosier.